Today is Wednesday, October 9th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $125. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin from friends of WeUseCoins.com. Love Bitcoin? Share the website WeUseCoins.com with your friends. In Washington, D.C., eight members of Congress were arrested yesterday for protesting outside of the Capitol. Whoops, I guess they forgot about passing the Patriot Act. Austin Peterson writes, yesterday at the libertarianrepublic.com quote, Representatives John Lewis and Charles Rengel were arrested at 4.15 p.m. today in front of the U.S. Capitol building during the Camino Americano Rally for Immigrant Dignity and Respect. The rally occurred today and featured speakers like Julian Bond, Leela Downs, and Representative Nancy Pelosi. Reps Lewis and Rengel were arrested along with Raul Grijalva, Joe Crowley, Keith Ellison, Al Green, and Jan Schakowsky. Authorities arrested the lawmakers for creating a disruption around the streets of the Capitol during the rally. 200 people were arrested along with the legislatures for causing disorder. Representative Pelosi said, quote, The time for immigration reform is now. Si se puede, she said. Yes, we can. This is Representative Lewis's 45th arrest. That's great if you're already a member of Congress, but weren't most of the people attending illegal immigrants? How will this arrest record affect their prospects for future employment in the U.S.? Do you think they received the same treatment from the the jail staff as members of Congress. In another terrific story from the LibertarianRepublic.com this week is that of an off-duty NYPD cop who voluntarily gave up his badge after seven years. The reason? He was caught participating in that gang of bikers who brake-checked an SUV on the highway and then later beat the driver in front of his wife and child, sending him to the hospital. It turns out not one, but six off-duty law enforcers were riding with this gang, and most people watching the video of this terrifying random assault were wondering to themselves, where were the police? It turns out they weren't only there, but they were the attackers. This information is only coming to light thanks due to cheap video cameras which captured the incident from multiple angles. Please, carry a camera and know how to use it for your own protection. JG Vibes writes at IntelliHub.com that, quote, last month a homeless man in Boston named Glenn James found over $40,000 in a backpack and turned Turned it in. After the story went viral, many people were moved by his honesty and decided to set up a donation fund. Now, he finally has a home. 27-year-old Ethan Whittington set up an online crowdfunding campaign that brought in more than $150,000 in donations to make sure that Glenn never ends up homeless again or stands in line begging. Ethan said he felt compelled to help after reading about James's good deed. Quote, we'll also get him the medical assistance he needs and get him some jobs training. I absolutely think this is a good ending for everybody. It's kind of restored my faith in humanity. With all the negative things we hear on a constant basis, it makes you realize there are decent people in this world. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Davi Barker, the Muslim agorist, writes at silverunderground.com this week that former KGB agent Vladimir Putin has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Davi writes, quote, Putin's sudden twist towards non-interventionism seems politically motivated, as it's typically enforced through bellicose threats. He engaged in interventions of his own in Georgia and Chechnya and was a KGB agent earlier in life. Domestically, he jails and exiles political opponents and protesters, and he has an openly hostile relationship with his own nation's LGBT community. Despite the fact that Putin's efforts might have stopped a bombing campaign in Syria that could have escalated into a regional conflict or a world war, his unacceptable domestic policies disqualify him from being viewed as a champion of world peace. On the other hand, President Obama received a Nobel Peace Prize and bloodied it with drone and cruise missile strikes. Will the Nobel Prize squander its credibility by continuing to give out its peace award to politicians for narrow political reasons? Why not instead support the FPP Peace Prize, a prize with a reputation for being awarded to actual peacemakers? Nominate your favorite peacemaker and cast your vote at fpp.cc. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of weusecoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.
everyone somewhere inside loves the idea of freedom.